Hey guys, it's Lushy, and today I'm going to be doing something special. Now I'm going to admit, I don't usually typically watch these type of movies, but I was interested in them, so I asked my buddy Art the Conquest to lend me his copy of Avengers Infinity War and Spider-Man Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming will be a different video, but today I'm looking at Avengers Infinity War. Evacuate the city. And I want to say right now, thank you Art the Conquest for lending me this. Uh, I enjoyed it the first time that I watched it. The second time was also about Eagle. I didn't really you know, love it anymore. I still thought it was cool. Uh, a lot of action, a ton of action in this. Not as much as in Spider Homecoming, which will be a separate video, but <clears throat> there's a lot of action. You see some of your favorite characters, all your favorite Marvel characters in here, just about. In Thanos, let's talk about Thanos. Wow, what a beast! Just put a smile on my face. That's all I. That's w the one of the biggest words, the simplest words you could use to describe Thanos is beast this guy is just a straight up savage he will stop at nothing till he gets the infinity stones and i find that intriguing as a character and <clears throat> whenever he gets them let's just say everything goes to crap for everybody else and it has a very uh how do you say almost a controversial ending not really controversial because like the world's not going to end because of the infinity war ending but it's like to me it's like what it's kind of like a WTF ending. You're like, what happened? Are they, you know, are they dead? What's going on here? Um, <clears throat> and, you know, what an ending. You end a movie that was pretty good, and then you end it like that, and it's like, then it really wants you to make, kind of makes you want to watch Avengers 4. I'll admit to this, I haven't seen Avengers 2. Obviously, I saw this one, which is Avengers 3, and I plan to watch Inven Avengers 4. Eventually, I watch, I'll watch Avengers 2, but I don't have any interest now. But yeah, overall, I'd say that Avengers Infinity War kind of recaptured my interest for the Avengers and a movie with the Avengers. Um, and I think in my time of like claiming that superhero movies sucked and they're just the same retreaded thing over and over, um, I think I was kind of like blindsiding myself from good movies because I could have been missing out on a lot of superhero movies that I now will probably... I probably won't watch a lot of them, that's guaranteed, because so many of them have come out and I've just passed on them because they're strictly superhero movies or they're made by Marvel. And I had this thing where I didn't like to support Marvel, but I am giving them a chance from now on. I so far have loved some of their recent films, you know, obviously. Avengers Infinity War. It's not my favorite movie. Spider-Man Homecoming is probably my favorite Marvel movie, like, period. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy was also cool. I have the second one, but I've never watched it, which I probably should because it's probably really cool. I've also heard that it's better than the first one, which is shocking, but I guess I'll give it a look or a try uh, sometime soon. But yeah, to me, overall, Infinity War, I'd, <coughs> excuse me, I'd probably give it an, a 7 out of 10, maybe an 8 out of 10, uh, going on an 8 out of 10 at least, um, because it it did have its very action-packed moments it starts off from the beginning and jumps you right into the action there's no hesitation uh which i love i love movies that just kind of push you in the scene and they don't even i must say i, I gotta say this also i haven't seen thor ragnarok and supposedly this takes place directly after thor ragnarok so i probably should go and watch that also but um i'll do that eventually but from the looks of it without even seeing ragnarok you could tell that something crazy happened before uh, the beginning of this film, obviously, and between the time of the short time between Ragnarok and this, um, which I don't know why I keep looking at it. It's like Thanos is going to pop out. Ah! <laughs> yeah, but that's my review for I want to keep it short because, you know, you don't want to spoil it too much. People are already spoiling a crap ton about this movie, and I don't want to be one of those people who ruins the viewing experience for someone else. So I kind of want to keep it kind of a, a secret for you so you can still enjoy avengers infinity war with without any spoilers or whatnot but yeah that's my opinion on avengers infinity war i'm sticking to it i absolutely love it and uh yeah go pay, go pick it up in walmart i had to pick it up myself this is my friend's copy so uh i'll definitely buy it <clears throat> not the first on my list but it's definitely gonna be a buy because it's an amazing movie that deserves to be watched uh many times i mean i, I this is not a movie i'd put in like back-to-back -back days but this is a movie that I'll, I'd probably watch maybe once a month or something. It's a pretty cool movie with tons of action. But uh, yeah, that's my review of uh, Avengers Infinity War. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit like, 
hit subscribe at that ringing dingy bell notification thing and you can notify anytime i make a video and here now is the trailer for my new short horror film it's more like a teaser for my new short horror film the collector enjoy